Hey girl, hey, do you use Instagram? Because if you don't, you should, because I love it. I, I'm just gonna tell you three quick reasons why I love Instagram and why I use it for business. Do you want God's plan for your life? Do you want to discover your calling? Do you want to build a business that's aligned with God's will? Hey girl, hey, I'm Jeanette, business and faith coach. After a decade in the military, the Air Force said, see you later, and I had to find my true calling. Want to know how God directed my life from a cybersecurity engineer to a faith and business mentor? In this podcast, I'll teach you how to start a business, how to know your business is God's calling, monetization techniques, how to trust the Holy Spirit, and how to set boundaries to listen to His Word alone. Ready to become unapologetically unstoppable? The number one reason I use Instagram is because my friends are there. My friends are there. We're not really the Facebook guys. We're more like on Instagram and sending people DMs of all the funny things. We've got group chats. I've got DMs going all the time. I just love Instagram and I love the stories. I might not post in my feed every day, but I will show up every day in some form or fashion on Instagram. I might send some encouraging words. I might show my face, show what our kids are doing, something like that. It's not like I'm just sitting there on Instagram scrolling all day. No, I'm active. I'm an active participant on Instagram. Can't say that about the other, the other platforms. I don't have a TikTok. I don't tweet. Facebook is just for like groups and old people, which is fine, but I'm not there. Me and my friends, we're on the grams. So I figure that if I'm on the grams and my friends are on the grams, my potential clients are on the grams, which is number two. I get to meet like real people and make real connections on Instagram. I know some people are like, I can't make any friends on Instagram. Everybody's so fake. Everybody's just bots and blah, blah, blah. No, I can make real connections with real people on Instagram. It normally involves me sending out a voice memo, but you know, I can do that. I can send out a voice memo and it's normally something like, Hey girl, I love your, whatever they're doing. I love your, like this one girl that I just met her. We are now friends. She does baking in her RV. I think that's amazing, right? I like to bake as a hobby baker, but I don't have an RV and I don't think I could ever live in an RV because of the amount of space. But I'm just like so enthralled with other cultures and other ways of living. Like don't even get me started on dance moms or sister wives. Like it's just a thing. Okay. So like I'll be watching and I'm like, oh, wow, she's like making this thing and she's got all these kids and she's writing a book and I'm just so like flabbergasted by her and I think she's so cool and we started talking about books and writing and what she's doing and I might meet her up at a conference. Like this is a person that I just met on Instagram. Like I like her. She's cool. We DM sometimes. That's why I like Instagram. And you know what? Maybe she becomes a client. Maybe she doesn't. But that's not why I became her friend. I became her friend because I thought she was cool. So if I'm on Instagram, hanging out with other BA women on Instagram, they might know somebody that knows somebody that might need my services. And I might know somebody that knows somebody that might want to read her book. And that's just who I am as a person. I don't need to get anything out of it. Everything I need, Jesus gives me, right? That's all I need. I don't need anything else. Everything else is just icing and on top. It's great. So number three, the third reason that I'm on Instagram is because I'm kind of old, y'all, and that's easy, okay? It's easy for me. I can do a reel. I can do an image. I can have somebody else do images for me. I don't have to put a whole bunch of work into it, it feels like. It doesn't feel like work. It feels like a fun place. So if you're somewhere on the internet, I don't care where you are. If you're on Twitter and it feels fun to you, be there. Be there. If it feels like work, that is not the social platform for you. It's just not. So Facebook groups right now feel like work. And I don't want to be in a Facebook group. For me, I'm not going to make one. I mean, I kind of made one. That's that's a BTS behind the scenes kind of talk. But anyways, I don't want to have a Facebook group that I have to maintain. I don't. At one point, I was thinking about having a Slack group. But again, you have to maintain it. You have to get it going before it just takes off and runs itself. 
So that's why I'm on Instagram because it doesn't feel like work. So the main point of this is to say, wherever you're at, make real relationships, real connections, all of those things with people. LinkedIn right now is popping for some reason. I didn't think it was. And then I got, I started talking to these other ladies and they're all on LinkedIn and they just are popping it off for me, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe those aren't your friends, but I'm just saying wherever you're at, make real, true blue connections and just do it for the friends or something like that. Because when people expect you to be selling something to them 24 seven, they already have their blinders up. They're already like, Meh. I'm not a very good salesperson anyway, because that's not how I sell. I'm not going to try and convince you. You need something. Either you want it or you don't. And that's on you. So when you are selling something and you're coming out genuine, like, hey, I just literally just want to help you because this is something that I have. That's a whole different vibe than, hey, I need you to buy this $500 thing because it's going to be awesome and you should do it and blah, 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 and give them this whole spiel. No, I want to know you as a friend and see if I could help you. Maybe my services will help you. Maybe they won't. But you know what? I'll never know if I don't ask you as a friend first. Hey, Jeanette, do you, do you ever get those DMs? Hey, Jeanette, do you want to get the blue check verified? All you have to do is give me $1,500 and your firstborn, and then you'll get the blue check verified. From like this account that has zero followers because it's totally bought. I'm like, come on. No, I don't want that from you. I don't trust you. I don't even know you. No, but I will buy something for my friends. I love spending money with my friends, actually. Once I get to know somebody, I'm 99% more likely to buy something from them. I have bought things from people I don't know before, but I stalked them first. I did. I did stalk them first. But once I meet somebody, I'm like, oh, no, they're cool. I get the vibe. I get the vibe of like, oh, yeah, they're genuine and they really want this. Or no, they're disingenuine and they're going to be fake. So when you start talking to people in the DMs, when they hear your voice, when they see you on reels, when they see you in stories, that's when they get to know you. That's when I get to know my friends. I met this girl and I thought she was cool. And then I started watching her stories and I was like, oh, she is not cool. Let's not talk ever again. Because I saw what she was reposting and talking about and trying to uplift which was not my jam. I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not like that. You a little out there for me. I'm out. Don't do that. But once you start to see what type of people you're following and you like, look, I know you might not even want to be on Facebook or Instagram because the Chinese or the Russians or the whatever's the look, I just unfollow people that I don't like. I just say, stop showing me this ad. If it's an ad, that's something that I don't want to see. I curate my own reality. I make my reality mine. I don't have to just be a victim of what the, the machine is going to show me. No, I take an active participation. I am very intentional about what I let into my mind and around me and my surroundings. And so when I'm on these platforms, I teach it what to show me by what I like how often I'm sitting on somebody's stuff. My sister likes to show me, like she likes to send me all these trashy reels. And so now I get fed all these trashy reels. So I stopped clicking on them. I started deleting them. I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to see these trashy reels. This is not my jam. I don't want to see this. She's like, oh, it's so funny. No, it's not. It's not funny at all. It's stupid. I don't want to see this. So I just stopped opening them. And guess what? My Instagram course corrected to what I actually want to see. Right now, it's full of Jesus, to be honest with you. Jesus reels, copy, funnels, business women. That's it. That's pretty much it because I taught it what I want to see. And so I only see what I want to see. And you can do that for any platform. I want you to know that. But that is why I'm on the, on the gram. It's easy for me. I can do it. It's not that complicated for me. I love it. My friends are there. I get a good giggle and I don't feel addicted to it. I don't feel like I can't just be there. I can be there for a few minutes and be off. With Instagram, I feel like I'm sucked in. I hate that. I don't like that feeling. So I go there less. But anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the grams. Wow, that was so good. So I know that you know somebody that also needs to hear that. So share this episode. 
leave a review. And I would love if you could watch my free workshop at JeanettePeterson.com slash missing piece. I'll see you guys over on the grams at Jeanette.Peterson. Bye.